hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to create our own custom object detection model using yolo 11 and we are going to detect a wild boar simple so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will create our own custom object detection model using yolo 11 and we are going to detect a wild boar so for that simply just install latest tony python ide just search tony python ide on google chrome and just install setup.exe file and then you will get latest tony python ide so i have already installed tony python ide then go to the tools manage packages and search for opencv hyphen python opencv hyphen python hit enter first package click on install button and it will install opencv hyphen python so i have already installed then we need ultra -lytics package so ultra -lytics and hit enter first package ultra -lytics. click on install button done it will install ultra -lytics on our windows 11 machine then we need cv zone package so search for cv zone click on search on pipi first package click on install button done it will install cv zone so this is how we need open cv hyphen python and then ultra -lytics package and then cv zone package done now simple for today's session i have created a new repository which is yolo 11 detect wild boar and just go to the code click on download zip i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser then we have our repository ready now minimize all these things open file manager and we will go inside our downloads folder this is what our repository right click extract all click on extract it will extract our folder so we have our folder as you can see this is what our folder simple so uh, first we need our video file so mega cloud dot link this is what our cloud link just copy it and open browser new tab control plus v hit enter it will open our cloud link mega cloud link click on download and it will download our video file so friends we successfully download our video file close the link and uh, we want to close our text file also downloads and this is what our video file right click cut move the video file inside our main folder and just paste it so if i run the video file as you can see this is what our video file this is the wild boar and our goal is to create our own custom object detection model which detect wild boar that's it so for that we will use roboflow data simple so in imp i have mentioned the link copy the link open web browser and just paste the link and hit enter so here you need to simply sign up with your gmail id for roboflow and we will use the data set from universe.roboflow.com so this is the data set for detecting a wild boar so this is basically universe.roboflow.com and we will use this data set for creating our own model so a uh, data set and then here we want to simply click on download data set simple so first we will open our google collab so friends i have opened google collab now simply click on upload click on browse and then downloads and our repository which is yolo 11 detect wild boar again same folder and inside that i have mentioned the collab file click on open and it will upload our collab file on our google collab machine so we successfully uploaded our file now just click on runtime then change runtime type selective for gpu and python 3 click on save and then click on connect so we successfully connected now we will run our cell one by one so first cell which is import os so let's just run our first cell then we will install ultra -Lytics package so click on next cell done we successfully install ultra -Lytics package now we will import our packages which is ultra -Lytics, import yolo and ipython.display import display and image now we will cross check if our ultra -lytics is successfully installed for that we will uh, use yolo 11 s.pt model and we will use doc.jpeg image from roboflow so let's just run the cell and if we successfully install ultra -lytics, 
it will detect the object from this uh, doc.jpg image and it will save the result inside our folder so it will save the result inside runs detect and predict so if you click on the folder icon runs then we have a uh, detect then we have predict and then we have doc.jpg image with detection as you can see it's detecting dog person backpack and handbag then close it now here we want to call our uh, train, train database means we want to call our roboflow database so just open the link which i have already shared with you so this is what our data set link universe.roboflow.com and then here we want to select download data set and we will select a format which is yolo 11 so scroll down and select yolo 11 and then click on or we can simply say just select it show download code so just select it show download code and click on continue it will create this kind of code so just copy from from copy to at the end just copy like this way select it select let me make again i will go here download data set yellow 11 and continue and then just select it from from to yellow 11 and then copy it open our collab and here also from from to yellow 11 delete it and then press ctrl plus v it will paste our new code done so now let's just run the code and it will create a data set folder here as you can see i have mentioned the command mkdir so it will create the data set folder and inside that data set folder it will it will basically call our yolo 11 project done now let's just click on again the small folder icon and then we have here as you can see we have here a data set folder just select it then we have this is what our folder where we have our data.yml file so just open the data.yml file and here it is as you can see friends the names so the names is basically the class name so we will mention the class name so i will mention our class name which is the wild boar so in single quote wild hyphen boar wild boar this is what our class and then we want to mention the path so train so train folder is here as you can see just click on this three dot copy the path go here inside data.yml file remove the old path press ctrl plus v it will paste the new path then val val means valid so this is what our valid click on three dot copy path come inside data.yml file and then remove the old path ctrl plus v paste it same way for test folder remove it and then test click on three dot copy path and then inside data.yml just paste the new path done we successfully mentioned all the changes we mentioned the class name we mentioned the path for train val and test now simply paste ctrl plus s save the data.yml and here now we want to mention our data.yml path here so this data is equal to basically our path of data.yml so remove the old one data.yml path data is equal to and this is what our data.yml click on three dot copy path and data is equal to just control plus v paste it the new path done we will uh, use here epox 100 image size 640 plots true now simply run the code so friends our training is started it will take some time meanwhile i will pause video so friends we have completed our training process and our model is saved inside runs detect and train folder so again we will go inside runs detect train weights and inside that we have our best.pt model select it three dot click on download and it will download our model so we downloaded our model so now close our google collab session and open file manager downloads and this is what our model right click cut move the model inside our folder yellow 11 detect wild boar and just paste it now we will open our main.py so base.pt i have already mentioned the model name and then from this model we will use names so model.names it will mention the class name then this is what our video file name here we want to mention our video file name so our video file name is wild boar so wild 
wild wild board then the in red frame cap dot read this is how we will uh, call our we will read our frame uh, means we will read our video file so wild board dot mp4 then we will resize the frame then we will use results is equal to from this model which is our yellow 11 yellow 11 model uh, yellow 11 our own custom object detection model so this method will represent our model so model variable is equal to results is equal to model dot track frame and true simple and then from this result we will call the boxes the class id the track id and the confidence level and then for loop so for box class id track id conf is basically now this boxes is box this class id is class id track ideas is basically track id and confidence is basically conf for box class id track id conf in zip all the all these things as simple as and then simple now we have all the box class id track id conf so we can simply use these four box class id track id conf as per our code requirement so c is equal to names these names these names so c is equal to names inside that we want to pass our class id then x1 y1 x2 y2 is rectangle coordinates is now this box then we will draw the rectangle we will uh, we will use here season dot put text rec method and we will put the track id on rectangle top left corner so rectangle top left corner is basically x1 and y1 as simple as and then this is the thickness and th this is basically text size and then we will also put the class name which is the wild boar so this is what our class name and then we will show our frame it is really easy the basic concept now let's just save the code and if i run the code and friends as you can see this is the wild boar and wild boar is the class name and this is what track id there is a rectangle and we are perfectly detecting the wild boar simple using roboflow database or we can say data set that's it so friends i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye